It's not a French bulldog, it's a French werewolf. So Teddy is the latest Shudder original to be released globally. Uh, it just came out last night. It's a, it is a horror movie technically, but it's not super scary. It's more of a psychological sort of emotional exploration of a particular character and his name is Teddy. With a little bit of body horror thrown in, with a bit of suspense and a bit of tenseness, it's not your standard horror movie, which is something that needs to get out of the way immediately. If you are expecting like super gory, super horror monster movie, this is not for you. If you don't like these really quiet, slow burn style horror films, this also isn't for you. But if you can appreciate good filmmaking, good character work, decent makeup and effects, if you can appreciate all those things in a film, you'll really like this. The soundtrack as well, fantastic. So what do we have here? Teddy is a bit of a loser. He he lives in this rural sort of town somewhere in France. I can't, I don't exactly know where it is, but everybody knows Teddy as the village idiot, essentially, or the village dropkick. Now, he has himself a girlfriend who he loves very much and she loves him and he's dropped out of school. He works as a masseuse, like a temporary part-time masseuse for this massage parlor. Throughout the beginning of the film, you see that there's been some attacks on livestock around the area. So some of the sheep have been mutilated and things like this. And there's this rumor going around the town that there's a wolf out in the forest that is coming through at night and tearing apart the livestock of some of these farmers. So it's a pretty basic premise. So very early on in the film, Teddy becomes infected. He gets bitten by the wolf and he starts to see these little changes and whatnot and overall this movie is really quite good I had a good time it's nice and short it's only like an hour and 25 minutes long so it gets done nice and quickly the plot moves along at a pretty good pace area that it's shot in France wherever this place is the cinematography is fantastic like this place looks gorgeous and the way that they filmed it gives it a real sort of 70s horror vibe with the way that it's shot and the way the camera angles are used and whatnot. I thought the acting was really good, the writing was pretty good, all the characters were really believable. Nobody really did anything that was outside of their set character personality from the start. Uh, everyone seemed to evolve in the way that they were supposed to evolve. The plot, like I said, moved along at a good pace. Let's just put it out there. This is not a scary film. This is one of those movies that it's going to make you uncomfortable in a lot of places. And because Teddy is not necessarily the most likable character or the most likable leading man that you have in the film, it's really hard to feel sorry for him and connect with him emotionally. But that's the whole point of the film is that sometimes these things just happen. You know, sometimes things happen and that's life. And sometimes it happens to bad people. Sometimes it happens to good people. Sometimes it happens to irreverent people. And Teddy is kind of in that middle ground where, you know, he's not super likable, but he has moments of being very sweet. And then he has moments of being a real fucking asshole. And you're kind of torn as the audience. And that's a good feeling because Teddy is torn. Once he becomes infected, he's torn between trying to be good and keep himself stable, creating this emotional fucking rock rocket ship up his ass that's just turning him and turning him and making making him this aggressive, aggressive person. It knows what it wanted to be and it stuck to it and it did it really quite well and it did it in a short amount of time with decent effects, good music, good acting, good writing. That's why I'm going to give Teddy an 8 out of 10. So tell me guys, have you watched Teddy? If so, comment down below, let me know what you thought of it. What's your favorite werewolf movie? For me, it's definitely The Howling, the original Howling, of course. Uh, absolute classic. The effects for that movie obviously kind of are dated now since it was from the 80s. But uh, yeah, that was the review. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, click through to another video and we'll keep having some fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.